Hey everybody, it is week two and we are playing as Notre Dame, taking on Penn State at Penn State. So let's see how this goes. All right, let's see who gets the ball first. It looks like Penn State is gonna start with the ball and it is snowing and it looks freezing out there right now. I would not wanna be out there. I'm a very warm weather person being from Alabama. I hate cold weather and uh, it still gets plenty cold here at times. It still snows, but it's not quite as bad as having to be up north somewhere like Pennsylvania where it'd be freezing. 20 yard gain with that pass I'm playing as Penn State right now. That is the team that I don't want to win, but I have to do my best anyway with both sides to make it fair. And uh, so it's kind of funny. Uh, I was trying to decide what is my strategy going to be because the, the whole point of doing this season this way with exhibition games is I want people to be able to experience both sides of the ball because normally in retro ball, and that's a touchdown. Uh-oh, Penn State just got a touchdown on us. Um, the one thing about Retro Bowl is you don't get to experience both sides of the ball when you're playing against a computer. You just get to play offense and you don't get to see them play offense at all. So it's really cool to do an exhibition game where we can see both sides of the ball. But unfortunately, to see both sides, you have to play two player. And so I'm having to play as both sides. And so in order to make it fair, I'm having to play my best on both sides. But the way I'm doing it is when I'm playing as Notre Dame or all the teams that I'm playing as specifically this season. Uh, I'm gonna be playing just like normal, uh, make the same kind of coaching decisions that I normally make, and that means trying to control the clock. It means probably being a little bit more risky than most people when it comes to going forward and fourth down, things like that. Whereas when I play as the other team, I'm gonna play as though I'm a computer, because the computer generally uh, goes for more field goals, the computer generally doesn't care about the clock and things like that, it just plays the best it can with its talent level. And so that's what I'm gonna do. As far as the players are concerned, I'm gonna play the both on the same on both sides, but I'm going to uh, play kind of like a computer would when it comes to the coaching decisions. And when it comes to uh, the team I trying to win as, I'm going to make the same kind of decisions I always would. So I think it's a pretty fair way to do it and should make for some interesting, fun games. Oh, no. I, oh, oh, that's good. Okay, I thought that wasn't going to make it there. I did not hit that nearly hard enough, but thankfully it still went through. We get a... And we do, oh wow, it's gonna be a big, no! Of course he'd fumble it. That was gonna be a huge gain. We were at the 30 yard line of Penn State. And of course that's where we fumble it in the snow. And all of a sudden Penn State now has the ball. And it's gonna be a quarterback run by Penn State. They don't have as fast a quarterback as I do, thankfully. So uh, they're not going to be able to quite do those quarterback runs on me like I can on them. And I have all day to throw, but no one to throw to. I want to turn... Uh, I wanted to turn it... Wow. That was caught? How was that caught? I was trying to turn it into a quarterback run, but it doesn't seem to let you change. I think the switch might be different because... Oh, I missed that. I think on the switch, you can actually start running after you've pressed the throw button to, to start throwing. But apparently... On the uh, iPad, you, you can't switch. Once you start throwing, you're stuck throwing. And that's going to be a touchdown right there for 38 yards. Ugh. We are scoring way too much with Penn State right now. Not enough with Notre Dame. Oh, okay. Oh, well, no, wait a minute. That's good. I, I keep on forgetting who I'm playing as. That was good that we missed that extra point because that will help us out as Notre Dame. Okay. It's such a weird feeling when you're playing as both sides. But I'll For, I think Purdue. Purdue was the team I was playing against. So if that hadn't happened, Purdue probably would have won that game. And uh, we're moving right down the field though, so we're doing what we need to do to get back in this game. Oh, come on, move faster. My tight end is just walking. Oh no, okay. We had it, we had it right there and we're giving it away now. Okay, this is gonna be a first, this is gonna be a touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame. 
and that is going to tie up the game. We should be able to pull ahead with just the extra point here. Wow, it was moving really fast. 14 to 13 is the score with less than a minute left in the first half. And Penn State receiving the ball here. Going to take it out to the 18-yard line, it looks like. Can our defense get a stop against myself? <laughs> That's an awfully big task right there. I'm such an amazing Retro Bowl player that... That... Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening here? This receiver just ran right through the Notre Dame defense. What is happening? Oh, this is going to be a touchdown. That is not what we want to see right there. 82-yard touchdown by Penn State with 12 seconds left. And Penn State uh, would go for two here to make up for the extra point as the computer. And that's exactly what happened there. So 21-14, to 14, Penn State is up a full touchdown with 12 seconds left in the first half. I want to say that we at least get the ball to start with in the second half. Uh, I would like to take a long shot down the field because what do I have to lose? I don't think it's going to be a pick six or anything if it did get intercepted. So let's just take... Oh, I can't throw far enough. I literally can't take... I can't throw far enough to take advantage of my... Oh, 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 that would be crazy if I score here. I don't think I'm going to get there, but maybe I can juke him the last second. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, that was almost amazing because there would have been two crazy explosive plays, one right after the other. All right, so it's the second half now, and we are starting with the ball. And I'm going to dive right there and get as many yards as I can down to the 25. I'm going to do a handoff. A handoff ought to work. I haven't done that in a long time. And that is going to be a successful run, a really successful run. Could this even be a touchdown? Probably not, but this is going to get us almost all the way there. Down to the, oh, not quite the 20-yard line. Wow. Let's just keep doing that. Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I'm gonna have to throw here. Oh, come on. That was closer to my receiver than it was the defensive player, and he intercepted it. Oh, that was frustrating. All right, wide open receiver over here. What in the world? What is happening? Did you see how that bounced? It was, again, it was another situation where it's close to my receiver and it bounced way over to the defensive player, so, wow, turnovers are crazy, and here goes a touchdown for us, so that was lucky for us, because that very easily could have, we could have been down by two touchdowns if that hadn't happened. Uh, I'm going to go for two, because that's what I would do, that's not what the computer would do, but I'm playing as me on this side, and that is going to be a two-point conversion, 22 to 21 is the score, so we have a one-point lead right now, it's going to be a pass by Penn State, looking for somebody to get open, almost set. Is my receiver just standing there? <laughs> He's, he was just standing there in the snow. He wasn't even moving. He was frozen there. I guess it's just too cold for him. He's literally frozen in place and he couldn't move. All right, down to the 40, the 45, or the 35. I need to count backwards because we're on the other side of the field now. And I was actually getting excited that I remembered, oh yeah, this is the team we don't want to win. And that's going to be a touchdown for Penn State. So they move back ahead, and they will just go for the extra point. And it is good for Penn State. So 28 to 22, we are down by six points with 40 seconds left in the third quarter. And let's see if we can answer that score with another score. I feel like there's a lot of explosive plays in this game. It seems like the back end of both our defenses are not very fast. And so once someone gets past the uh, first the line it basically there's no one to stop them for a long ways and so i think that's part of the problem here's a nice wide open situation all that defender got really close let's see i'm going to hand it off again this time i pressed the right button oh no it's a loss of a yard okay third quarter's almost over there's two seconds left now it's zero seconds and that's going to be a first down for us, so we got 14 yards out of that, and that is the end of the third quarter. We have one quarter left, so let's see if we can win this game in the fourth quarter. That's when games are won. It's the fourth quarter. And uh, here we go. That's going to be a huge gain. 32 yards, and we're in the red zone now. Let's not turn it over right now. That's, that's the main goal. Score and don't turn it over. So we turn it over, we could be down by two. Oh, come on. 
All of a sudden, the run, the run game's not working now that the field is kind of squished. We need it to be a little bit wider. And there we go. Touchdown throw. I'm going to go for two, I think. Yeah. My quarterback can run. Oh, I should have gone the other side. I think I can get there, though. Okay, I got there. Barely. A two-yard uh, run, and that got the two-point conversion. So we are up by two points now. Just couldn't catch them. Oh boy, this is a nerve-wracking situation for both teams because Penn State, oh, okay, that's a sack right there. My defense rushed them and went right through the offensive line. So both teams are just really terrified right now because it could go either way. Oh, that was almost intercepted. Okay, third and 16 now. Oh, wow, okay. That was a wide open receiver. Okay, here's decision time. I think a computer would go for a field goal here, but I'm not confident that I even have the ability to get this. Okay, that's not bad. Oh no! Penn State got the field goal. Now we're, we're down by one point with only 32 seconds. Thankfully, we have all three timeouts. We have a touchback, so that's going to help a lot, but we have to move down this field quickly and get in field goal range. Okay, at least that was caught. Okay, this is a nice scan. I'm going to call my first timeout right there with 23 seconds left. We're very close to field goal range. I'm going to call a different play. Okay, nice. Another timeout. We have one timeout left with 16 seconds. We're almost... We, we're technically in field goal range, but it's just a little bit too far away for me to feel comfortable. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. That's going to be pro that's going to be a touchdown and we win the game. I'm pretty sure with 4 seconds left, it'd be awfully hard for us to lose it at this point. And I will go for 2 here. And we got it. So we are up by a full what is that? That's full 7 points, a full touchdown. Penn State has 4 seconds to try to make something happen. They won't be able to take the touchback, so it'll have to be a kick return and not gonna get anywhere and that will end the game we win an exciting game 38 to 31 over penn state wow that was a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching and i will see you in week three